What's up, guys? Iki with DCC Train. Merry Christmas. New Year is coming. So uh, all my kids in town. <laughs> it's a little bit crazy house. But anyway. So today's video. I hope uh, about tips. Uh, I hope it will help you uh, troubleshoot something especially for beginners but that thing really got me so I got a seller uh, probably it's single unit just a engine not like a train set which is the same thing so for decoder for sound decoder up upgrade it's original Buckman decoder in here and this is brand new motor I just got from Bachman. See that uh, area here? I took the filter, EMI filter out. Don't need it because the coder has it. And what's happened, usually before installation, I'm testing the unit and it was perfectly fine. I have identical two. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But anyway, I, I think I'm going to do the same. So finished everything it took me a while to figure out everything and guys thank you for your patience because it's just not like some plug and play stuff even takes time you know so everything's peachy i install everything cool putting on a test track and it start making noise like no tomorrow like literally like like a hammer noise and that's another question why it's happened and like why it's doing so such of like mechanical noise my understanding one of the coil inside the motor or commentator or collector whatever you're calling uh, brushes connected with an issue physical issue so that thing just like one of contact pops up you know i took the brushes they look fine anyway without brushes brushes it's still making noise so something happened in with those coils why it's happened it's a bunch of the, uh, factors what i'm talking about right now it's uh, the different frequencies of the decoder output this is again older buckman and at that those days like mid of probably 2000 i think it it wasn't a uh, really high frequency output uh, newer esu right now uh, esu is as, as an example this is like pilot so i'm just going to test it it can be different manufacturers so esu saying their output the frequency going from i think uh, motor control let's see actually I have it here right so from 10 kilohertz up to 50 kilohertz so the ear of the human being even cannot hear that hum you know the, the, the that frequency but it's possible also a long time ago I I read some articles the low frequency um, decoder output can be a little bit issue I, I'll, i'm going to show you what's happening so but again this is like almost like brand new locomotive i got very strange <laughs> so let's test it with that original decoder so i have address three and uh, I, i'll be close with my mic hear that hum I really don't care about the frequency of that hum but it's that's what it's doing to the motor you know again decoder out of the box means original came with the locomotive one more time it's older technology I don't think so y y even you can can not control the output okay let's take the uh, that decoder out make sure I don't have any power and I'm going to show you tester 
that would help you um, I hope to troubleshoot stuff so my tester is very simple testing the motor because if you're doing this when it's in, lo in inside of the locomotive it will be really no fun okay so we need to just disconnect that show you my simple tester yeah everything like brand new original so it's just the 8 pin plug two wires to the input uh, actually right and two wires output color really doesn't matter it can be plus or minus which direction it's running doesn't matter for these purposes but this will gives you like a hundred percent testing uh, without any compli complication so the red orange uh, the orange pin one I think but it, it just like colors fine and I'm already standard okay I don't want to plug it in like any further that's fine so these guys I have in a different length of the the wire so they not really cannot connect to each other in if input shorts if I don't know something happened you know the screwdriver will fly <laughs> into it it will be just shorting the system and uh, my system has a protection over short okay don't go anywhere we're going to the programmer soon <laughs> and when I yeah before we're doing it and I usually I'm not reading forums a lot because most of it uh, guys like explaining issue not properly and it starts I'm um, really <laughs> really mess right uh, m mostly because uh, misunderstanding so but I read one forum and yeah it turns to really <laughs> big fight uh, the the talk they talking about like that hum for some people you can hear it you know or you have sound decoder it's impossible to hear me and sound listen if it unless it's like really physical issue with the motor like I have before so let me look at the motor real quick I think I, I didn't throw it away but the, oh yeah it's here uh, I'm just keeping it not feeling not feeling a lot of tension but I hear some kind of click you know kind of a little bit something oops 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 oops, oops. see that's what I mean if it's like uh, powering <laughs> you got a problem <laughs> so but anyway um, you hear that that's what it's doing and it's just happened try this guy yeah this is like perfect okay brand new so after that we're going to the ESU lock programmer again it can be different decoders it can be di different manufacturers different sound not sound anyway it's just an example all right let's do it power address I believe the same uh, three okay let's just clean the wires here see this this is 2010 technology and up perfect control on super low speed so the engine will be crawling because transmission in those Buckman locomotives very nice very solid you know the motor balanced so no questions and now this is about half of the speed you just hear mechanical noise that's all which is absolutely normal okay now we're going to a little bit complicated part theoretically it's also can be improved especially with um, back AMF and um, that uh, what's the fr oh, I'm keeping forgetting that abbreviation 
pulse width modulation. All right, so Windows, here I go. This is programmer, and uh, I'm, I'm getting sometimes questions. A, hey, AK, do I need a programmer? Guys, I hard to tell me, but if you have like five, more than five ESU locomotives, because it's working only with ES, ESU decoder, you can test it uh, with that uh, driver cab, but you cannot read the decoder. Anyway, so we're going to the decoder. Yeah, and if you have, if you need like adjust uh, some parameters, that's easy way to do it. You need uh, update firmware, which is I always strongly recommend. That's what uh, going on with the programmer. So that's the motor control where we at motor settings actually. Uh, there is another thing. Let's see. Driving characteristic. No, we need this motor settings and then you are scrolling down this is all about uh, back AMF that's a different story a huge subject but this is use load control value values from preset motor types click on that and again you can adjust every single CVs you know it's more than 300 CVs manually. I'm just not seeing it really realistically. So usually I'm using this Pico five pole motor or older if it's really open frame that they call it hobby motor. Yeah, I means it's model like 20 plus years. Uh, yeah, something like that, even older. Yeah, but that is usually fixing a lot so i'm uploading the file i don't know which cvs i'm just doing it through the software and it's cool also you can use um, uh, speed tables you know adjust everything especially setting the like mid speed if somebody cranked the throttle on club layout the engine won't go berserk you know stuff like this well, here we go. Speed step one. I didn't do anything with that decoder. It's out of the box. Back AMF, I don't think so. It's, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, the deceleration I don't think so even adjusted pr from the beginning yeah good call let's see <laughs> f8 programming with my lens system direct no cv cv4 enter 24 so it has some momentum but again it's just that's I don't know maybe from from uh, original factory setting i already did something with that decoder adjust adjustment but that's what it is oh let's see uh cv3 it's 32 yeah i think i did to see how is everything working and it works great okay hi and happy new year matt what's up yes guys thank you for you again for your patience uh i'm nothing i'm not cutting corners i'm doing a hundred percent all my installations i'm doing unless i'm putting item on ebay still i'm because behind our name you know i'm just taking time and it's sometimes complicated that's an example happy new year and uh, have a great coming weekend bye bye